Today we have stranger themed merch. Oh wait, stranger themed merch. Stranger things. Stranger <laughs> things. This is before I even drank. I'm just stupid. Today we have stranger things merch, stranger things makeup, stranger things drinks, and we're going to be sprinkling that throughout. But the main issue we have to focus on here is that I don't remember any of stranger things. So Ben has created a quiz for me. We're going to see how much I know. I don't think I retained a lot of this. I believe season three came out in what, 2019? And I never rewatched it. So... Okay, so since I started out with this makeup, you already know how it looked, but this is just my first impressions of the theme makeup. Hello, so first of all, hot topic. The salespeople there really pulled me in when they saw me eyeing it and- I mean, it worked. I also didn't know that if I get this much makeup, I also get a free fanny pack. Have I ever worn a fanny pack? No. Do I have a use of her a fanny pack? No, but it's free after I pay $60. Okay, look inside the fanny pack. It's the upside down. Capitalism and advertising makes a sucker out of me once again. But I mean. But I mean. But I mean. Look how cute that is. I'm happy with it. Let's see if the makeup's good. This is not the brush that came with it. The brush that came with it was a lot cuter. It had like stranger things on the side. It was the fluffiest brush I've ever felt, but it was also $60. So no. Ooh, it's like Will's drawings on the inside. So this is a bright pink color. Ooh, it's scented like vanilla. Mm. Kind of sticky, which I'm not a fan of. Really thick. The applicator's not anything special. I like the scent, I like the color. I love this. I love a black lip gloss and I hope it's pigmented. I like this one even better than the pink. <laughs> Yar. So the other thing that I got, the super red blush, which is also outside of my comfort zone, but if I'm gonna go for a theme, I'm gonna go for it. Ooh. Let's let's see if we can see you. Here you are, it's me as Sonic. Okay. Don't look at the clownage right now. I swear I'm gonna make it work. And you know what else I like? I like a good blush that can double as an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna see how that is. Everything's coming together. All right, let's start with season one. But first, first sip of this drink. That's stupid good. Just kind of generally, tell me, what do you remember about the plot of season one? We have Eleven that just escaped from the facility that was testing on her. We don't really know any of that yet. She just kind of shows up. She barely speaks. She's like, give me your waffles. Bah. And Mike is quite smitten with her from the get-go. He's like, oh my God, who are you? You're so interesting. Like, what is this? Why does your nose bleed and you have powers? That's pretty not like the rest of us. You're different. I like that. We have Will gets sucked into the upside down. Down because he like he ran into his little fort that he made in the woods these monsters they never say this but this is the subtext like they feed off vulnerability and then we see Eleven kind of communicating with him she is their only hope like she's like the messiah of this world and then you have Dave who's a cop no Hobbs mm, Hop? not quite no Hopper Shh, don't tell that Spoiler! Was, that was one of my Spoilers! questions. Spoilers! <laughs> Do you remember what Nancy's best friend's name is? Nancy is Will's mom. No. no. Nancy is Mike's mom. No. Closer. <gasps> oh, Nancy is Mike's sister. The yeah. one that gets with both Jonathan and Steve. Nancy's friend is named Barb. The only reason I know this is not because I actually remember her. I remember her from the super fruit pentatonics sketch that they made about it, which I highly suggest you check out. It's, dare I say, better than Stranger Things. She died. That's like, that's what spiraled into Will being taken. Here's a multiple choice question. How does episode one start? Does it start with A, the boys playing Dungeons and Dragons? B, that one. the Demogorgon killing scientists in a secret lab. Oh. C. Hopper wakes up with a hangover and smokes 300 cigarettes. <laughs> or D. Eleven escaping from the lab. See, I thought this was really obvious. I'm like, oh yeah, when they were playing whatever, but that could have been the second scene. I'm gonna say it starts with Eleven escaping from the lab. Nope. It was the Demogorgon killing scientists in the lab. We see the Demogorgon in the... the first shot? Let's see, do you remember how does episode one end? Does it end with A. Nancy's friend, Barb, getting captured by the Demogorgon. No. B, Will's mom sets up the alphabet wall. No. C, the boys find Eleven. Or D, Hopper bringing Will's bike to Joyce, his mom. Du Bois finding Eleven. I remember Eleven not getting there until way later. Yes, that is correct. This is the upside down cock tail. Don't want any otherworldly parasites crawling around in your fruit. The aroma. Activate your smell vision, kiddos. Three ounces. Three fourths of, of this bottle. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like that sound. Let's listen to that again. Eyeball it. Well, well that, that is a lot more. I'm a little silly. And then we also okay. need one ounce of lime juice, one ounce of oh. lemon juice. Let's see what I got in my handy dandy fanny. 
I also have a knife. In a battle of wits and strength, this fruit is winning. <laughs> we, we were supposed to also add this to the other cup. Really? Yeah. After all that struggle, <laughs> that's literally what the upside down looks like. This is an annoyingly specific question. <laughs> During right. Dungeons and Dragons, Will chooses to, to cast which of these spells in the game Dungeons and Dragons? Is it protection spell? Was it A, a fireball? B, oh, a protection probably. spell. One of those. C, invisibility. Mm -hmm. Or D, magic missile. I am only remembering this from the freaking pentatonics sketch. Because all he said is, Fireball! Cast a protection spell! So it was two people arguing about that, so I know it's one of those two. I think the reason why Pentatonix has more of a profound <laughs> impact on me is A, it was funny as fuck, but also B, that's what got me into the series. I watched that sketch before I even watched Stranger Things, and I just thought it was so funny I watched the series. Little did I know, series is not that funny. <laughs> Fireball. Yeah. Fireball. Yeah. It's our arsonist arc. There is a search party that is organized by Hopper to try and find Will. During the search party, important character development thing is revealed about Hopper. Was it A, he had a daughter who died many years ago. Yeah. Do you remember which of the four main boys has a crush on Nancy? Was it Lucas, Dustin, Will, or Mike? That's Mike's sister, so I'm going to say not him. <laughs> Dustin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gavin is so fucking funny. That character is just the silliest, the silliest boy. What is Steve's last name? Is it A, Hammond, B, Harris, C, Harrington? Harrington, B, Harrington. Harrington. I don't know why I'm remembering all of this. Always go with C for Steve. Do you remember, how did the boys find Eleven? Was she A, hiding in Will's shed? B, she broke into Mike's basement? C, they find her alone in the woods? Or D, they don't find her until later in the season? She broke into the basement. No? Nope, they found her in the woods. Really? I just remember her being there. I just remember her being like, Hello, I'm Eleven. <laughs> but she said it with her thoughts. She didn't speak until the end of the season. And her first words were, Eleven, Eleven. Like a little Pokemon. Which episode does Joyce make the alphabet wall in? Was it episode one, episode two, episode three, or episode four? It's either three or four. I know it's not one. Eh, eliminate that. This is how I do really well at tests. I take the most educated guesses. I'm gonna say Three. Yeah. Oh my episode god! Three. Also in episode three, there is an event that causes basically everyone except for Joyce to believe that Will is actually dead. Do you remember what that was? They found a boy in the river. Yeah. Later on, Hopper discovers that the body pulled out of the water was not Will. How does he do this? Was it A, because he cut the body open and Gives him a it was big old stuffing? kiss on the lips. Was it B? Gives him a big old <laughs> kiss on the lips. Was it B, because he beat the shit out of state trooper behind a bar? Or was it C, because he went back to the ravine and found some clues? This is right on that, that was not one of the options. But I know a curveball when I see one. <laughs> Just say I got the point. Um, clues. No. Cut, he cut open? He did, but first he beat up a state trooper, and the state trooper revealed that, oh yeah, no, we, uh, we staged all that shit. They were putting in messages of a corrupt government that early on? Oh, yeah. Wow. Next question. Do you remember what happens the very last time that we see Eleven in season one? What is Eleven's last scene in season one? I know the last thing she... <laughs> she just knows something stupid's gonna come out of my fucking mouth. That's when she channels her, like, waffle powers. Which just sounds terrible. I'm gonna... I'm gonna end that there. Um... No, the last thing she does is she's like, Why did my nose keep bleeding? I should see a doctor about this. <laughs> That's the first and only thing she says in the series. <laughs> Why am I picturing? This is actually what I'm picturing. I know it's not right, but this is my best guess. She kisses Mike right on the lips. And she goes, I'm a monster! And then she runs back into the woods. Uh, but I do think she runs back into the woods. Do, do you want to know what actually happens? Yeah. Um, so she is holding back the Demogorgon with her powers. And she destroys the Demogorgon. But in the process, um, she and the herself. Demogorgon both get sucked back into the Upside Down. Oh, she gets into the Upside Down at the end? I believe so. It's well, that's already way more than I know about season two. The very, very final scene of the final episode of season one, Will goes into the bathroom and does what? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that was phrased so badly. <laughs> 
actual guess, because I could say a billion things, but I'm not going to. Too easy, too easy. Um, I think he like looks in the mirror and it like starts glitching out and he sees himself in the upside down too. Like the upside down starts to be in their real life. That's not it, but that's really cool. One more guess and then you can tell me what actually happens. He's like, shit, I really look like that. That's what causes him to get the haircut in season two. I, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Oh, he goes to the bathroom and he pukes up a little um, a creature from the upside down into his toilet. But that leads me into the only thing I know about season two being that that little throw up slug turns into Dustin's pet. That was all of my season one questions. All right. Okay. Jonathan is Will's brother. Yeah. Did you, did you just remember that? This next one is called The Eleven. It sounds freaking delicious. We got maple syrup, we got fireball. So let's start. It actually starts with me separating an egg. We're putting an egg in this drink. I mean, you already saw it, but what's in this fanny pack? This is how you separate an egg for those of you who are curious at home. That's where the yolk goes. And we have successfully separated the whites and the yolks. Nice Master thing. Chef Junior style. I'm whisking this. Oh. I, I don't trust freaking shaking an egg white. Oh. Uh, what's in my fanny pack? Maybe we do need to put this in a shaker. Does that look cute? Oh, I feel like everyone looks cute doing that. <laughs> Forbidden chocolate milk. <laughs> All right, mommy, sweetie, drink up. <laughs> mommy, my chalky milk tastes weird. Don't be a bitch to me. Now it's time for the most important part. How good does this look? Come on. <laughs> First sip. It's weird. You took a sip too? No, I'm just reacting to your face. <laughs> your face is weird. I should have shook it better, I think. Oh no. Um, if this gives you a hint. Oh, do you remember the name that Dustin gives the uh, that creature? Oh, <gasps> they called it the Demodog, didn't they? Yeah. But that wasn't the name? No, he, he had like an actual name that they gave him. Rex? No. Is it something like stereotypical of a dog? Something like cute, fluffy? Huh? They called it Dart. Um, but that was short for like, I forget like the actual full name, but it was a character in the novel, The Three Musketeers, but they, they just call it Dart for the rest of the season. Funny story, Ben. Now what's his real name? Cause that's <laughs> silly. And do you, do you remember anything else about its story arc throughout the season? You fucking, kind of already said it. Fucking demonic dog. Like he wasn't good. And then Justin's like, goodbye old friend. <gasps> Right? <laughs> How many new main characters can you name that are introduced in episode one? I counted five. Is Sadie introduced? In oh, what's Sadie? Oh, yes, yeah, that's the uh, the actress's name. Yeah. What's her fucking character's name? I thought she was introduced in season three. Well, it's her and her brother. Her brother's uh -huh. name is Billy. I remember his name because I remember a lot of other people on Tumblr being into him, and I was like, he looks like a Republican. One of our favorite characters you haven't mentioned yet. <gasps> Bob. Yeah. Bob dies in season two. Yeah. I thought that was season one. He only exists in season two. Well, you know what's something I really like though? Is that after that happened, that had a profound impact on everyone. Everyone loved Bob, as they should. He was the best. Bob the Builder, can you fix this broken heart? You can't. No. Wow, how can I forget season two when the goat was sacrificed? <laughs> There's two more characters. I really doubt you're going to guess them though. Was it the conspiracy theorist? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Any uh, guesses what his name was? Roger. No. I thought if I said it in like a weird enough way, it would really click. <laughs> and was the science teacher also introduced? No, that was in season one. That's what I thought. Yeah. One other character. It is related Zombie to Zombie Barb. <laughs> this character Zombie is... Barb. Oh. This character. Zombie Barb. Oh my god. <laughs> Eight. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> I forgot that whole fucking thing. There's a whole other group of kids that were experimented on. Do you remember what her superpower is? She rips metal doors out of things. No. She, she controls the metal. No. <laughs> she throws trash all over the all over the ring. You're, you're and just then of Danny DeVito. <laughs> and then she starts eating garbage. <laughs> the girl, redhead girl, her name is Max. Yes, it is. And she goes out with Caleb, that's the actor's name. I'm so surprised you remembered that. I did not remember that at all. I remembered <laughs> it because it felt forced to me when it happened. <laughs> at the end of episode one, where is Eleven revealed to be hiding? It, um, with Hopper. She's living with him. Yeah. Just a small town cup, smoking cigs and fucking moms. Do you remember what Barb's parents are doing in season two? Or were they going off the deep end? Like, we gotta find out what's happening in the Upside Down. My daughter died. I didn't even realize we ever saw them. So at the beginning of season two, Barb's parents don't know that she's dead. They've actually, they're planning to sell their house so that they can afford to hire um, a private detective to like look into Barb's disappearance. 
It's Murray uh, that they're hiring to disappearance. He was like... <laughs> Why would ex, you hire that guy? He was an ex-journalist, so he's like done a lot of investigative journalism before, so I guess that's the why The last like, person I would look into to like, oh my god, my child's missing, who am I gonna hire? A fucking journalist, bro? I, I'm not knocking on journalism. <laughs> Here's my bias. A, the only person that I know that went into journalism is an asshole. But B, it's just the last person I would hire. Like, why don't you get somebody like... Hopper. <laughs> why don't you, yeah, why don't you talk to Hopper? So who has Hopper secretly been trying to track down during the season? Was it A, one of the lead scientists that built the gate to the Upside Down in season one? Mm -hmm. Was it B, Barb? Or was it C, Eleven's mom? <laughs> Hopper knows that Barb's dead. <laughs> Do you take Hopper for a fucking fool? Eleven's mom. Eleven's mom. It's all coming back to me. Because I remember them sitting in the water, picturing her in her head, and she's going up to, like, the hospital room with, like, a flower on it or something. You're remembering more than me. <laughs> you're bringing it back with your <laughs> stupid little snippets. But, but yeah, I don't so think... Oh, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was. sorry. Yeah, it was Eleven's mom. Yeah. Okay, because I thought Eleven was doing that, but Hopper was helping. Yeah. Hopper the helper. Do you remember what's the significance of the pumpkin patch that Hopper is investigating? They definitely made like a Charlie Brown reference. They had to have. It was the 80s. The, he found a, a demon and he went into the pumpkin like a little jack-o'-lantern. Happy Halloween. It's my favorite holiday because I'm spooky. Oh my gourd, it's Hopper. So actually what's going on is there are secret underground tunnels beneath the pumpkin patch connected to the Mind Flayer uh, and Will. And so like there's- I things. don't buy it. Why does Eleven go to Chicago? That was her crime arc. That was when she's like, hey Eight, let's fuck shit up. Yeah, it's like Eight is all about like getting revenge on the scientists and like tracking them down and murdering them. I fuck with that. Yeah, me too, honestly. The scientists were like, you know, dare I say, a little rude. <laughs> uh, pardon my rude. French, bad guys. Pardon my French, bad guys. What do Nancy and Jonathan do that causes the Hawkins lab to finally get shut down? Do they A, Fuck. with Murray's help, send a story that Barb was killed by toxins from the lab to a big newspaper? B, That's fake news. with Murray's help, they convince the state government that the lab has been killing children. C, with Murray's help, they break into the lab to help Eleven shut down the gate to the Upside Down. It's C, Eleven shuts down the thing. Nope. They it's make actually a fake a. news. Will is possessed by the Mind Flayer during this season. Sucks to suck. So how do we get this Mind Flayer guy out of Will? It's a little annoying. How do they do it? Do they A, make Will really cold? Do they B, make Will really hot? Do they C, remind him of all of their favorite memories together with him? Or D, they poke him with a stick? It's not D. <laughs> Fuck, I thought they sent an exorcist over him. No? No. <laughs> I thought they sent an exorcist. I think it's C, where they're like, Will, don't you remember when we played baseball and threw it around? Oh, Will, sweetie, it's your mom. You're an amazing <laughs> artist, and I love Hopper. Uh, Will, it's Hopper. I don't, really, I don't really know you that well. Your mom's hot. He's like, oh, it's all coming back to me now. No. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> it was B. They make him really hot. They actually, they do try, like, reminding him of their favorite memories together, but it doesn't work. <laughs> so they, like, just make Will, like, uncomfortably hot. Fireball! Alright, Stranger Things, chapter three. I actually remember a lot about this season, because it gave me vivid nightmares. I just remember that scene in that amusement park, like, ride thing. Yeah. What is it called? The, like, the fun house. And they're going through, and they have the guns, and they're pointing them everywhere. Like, the Russians were using the upside down and the demonic things as, like, weapons. Um, Billy dies at the end. Very strange to see because it was an extreme, I mean, flawed is an understatement, but he really comes through at the end. He makes a huge sacrifice. It was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that level of Bob from you, my boy. Which foreign government is trying to create their own gate to the upside down? You already answered that. Duh. Russia. Where do Jonathan and Nancy work together? They're both journalists, actually, right? Yeah. And Steve worked at the ice cream shop with our resident lesbian Robin. Who, who, who? Do you remember what the ice cream parlor is called? Fuck, I was literally looking up recipes for this video and that was one of the things. Oh, they were like sailors. It was like a whole like nautical theme, right? Something, ahoy, something. Is there multiple choice or are you just gonna make me pull it out of my You're ass? Can you pull it out of your ass? That's the most fun way to do it. S not scoops ahoy, that's a real thing. Um, Is that it? Scoops ahoy? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I was like, um, Chips Ahoy, no, that's real. Scoops Ahoy, I also think that's real, but I said it and I was right, let's go. Where does Billy work? 
Oh, he's a lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate that. That scene is like the clearest in my mind, unfortunately, when all the fucking moms were checking him out, and I just wanted to be like, stop being creepy. So Nancy and Jonathan, they uh, defy their boss's orders, start doing their own secret investigative journalism into what? Is it A, diseased rats? B, diseased rats. the mayor is acting sketchy as heck? Or is it C, townsfolk are beginning to disappear? You motherfucker. <laughs> it's all of the above. No. Well, it's diseased rats first, but then yeah. they find out the other two <laughs> things from that. Because the mayor is really sketchy, and he's played by Macaulay Culkin! No. <laughs> What's his name? It's the guy, the guy who plays Wesley from The Princess Bride. Macaulay uh, <laughs> Culkin! No, it's not. So Dustin and Steve at one point are trying to figure something out in the mall, and Robin decides to help them out with it. What are they trying to figure out? Is it A, a terrible plan to start meeting girls? Is it B, how to recalibrate Dustin's radio? It's that. Or is it C, they're trying to translate a Russian transmission? That no, it's that! Out. It's C! Yeah. And Steve was like falling for her and she's like, I'm not into guys, bro. That's embarrassing for you. But then Steve was just such a fucking ally. It reminds <laughs> me of that TikTok audio. It's like, this is Valentina. She's an ally. Talk, Valentina. Ally. <laughs> Do you remember what the name of the mall is? I know exactly what the mall looks like. Is it just Hawkins Mall? No. Indiana Mall. It's called the Starcourt Mall. No way in hell I could have gotten that. What was Dustin's girlfriend's name? Susie. I didn't remember that. I was telling you to ask me that. Oh, shit. I thought you were just asking me. Make believe you understand the simple shit I say. There upon a rainbow is the answer to who asked you, stupid. <laughs> I'm actually weirdly a little bit buzzed. I don't think I drank in a month, which must be a new record since I, wow. since I turned 17. I mean 21. This was really fun. This was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, maybe this will act as your summary before you delve into season four. But have a great day, butt lovers. Stay safe. Bye!